The two most crucial qualities of a gorgeous photo are great lighting and great color. Now that you've learned the basics of lighting, let's take on color. When you're looking at this image, what do you notice about the colors? And is there anything you would change? Notice how it's full of almost every color, but they all look a little bit dull. Since your camera and your eyes see color somewhat differently, the colors in your images will often appear less vibrant than they do in real life. Fortunately, this is an easy fix in Photoshop where we can make an image as vibrant or as dull as we'd like. So let's start by increasing the color intensity to look more like real life. When we talk about changing the intensity of a color, we often use the term saturation, and you've probably seen this before in the photo editing apps on your phone. So how do we make this happen in Photoshop? Let's start by adding a vibrance adjustment layer to this image. You may have noticed there's also an adjustment called hue and saturation, but vibrance adjustments are a little bit easier to work with. Watch what happens when we dramatically increase the saturation in this image. Notice how every single color is now super saturated. This is because saturation affects every color in the image in the same way. The saturated colors in the mural are excellent, but notice how the skin tones of the artist have changed. He now looks way too orange and unnatural. So how can we fix this? Let's reset the colors. Instead of moving the saturation slider, let's move the vibrant slider to the same value. When comparing these two results side by side, which option has the more natural looking skin tones? You probably chose the one with the vibrance adjustments applied. It's typically a good idea to use vibrance when you're trying to saturate the colors of an image while preserving the natural look of skin tones. So vibrance is especially helpful while editing portraits or any photos with people as the subject. But there's honestly no right or wrong way to color an image. It all depends on the style you're going for. Maybe you want an intense look where the colors are brighter than in real life, like this Texas shot, or maybe you want a more subtle, subdued look like this New York photo. Whatever the style, you now know how to achieve the perfect amount of saturation with every image. So let's recap. Color intensity can be controlled in two different ways in Photoshop. Saturation affects all of your color. Vibrance affects color intensity more subtly. And it's great when working with skin tones. You can access both vibrance and saturation controls through the vibrance adjustment layer. And now it's your turn to step up and practice adjusting color on your own images. Good luck.